So, I went to the store early this morning to get some stuff for the house, and I thought I had grabbed a pork roast, a, a, a Boston butt. I did not. I It was in the same area, and I was looking and I saw the weight that I wanted for the time that I have to cook it. But what it ended up being is two separate pieces of meat, and these are rib ends. They have the ribs. So, I've never cooked anything. I've never cooked these before. And uh, so we're going to give it a shot. But the reason I got meat today was because I wanted to try out this Twisted Q rub season, uh, rub season, <laughs> pork rub. Um, I've been wanting to try it for a while. Um, I haven't really seen any reviews on YouTube for it yet. So this is going to be my review of Twisted Q's Brown Sugar Hickory Pork Rub. And this is actually made in Luton Booty Barbecue in Scottsdale, Arizona. So, all right, so we're going to rub it down. We're going to use Frank's Red Hot as our binder. So we're using Red Hot instead of using mustard, we're going to use Frank's Red Hot. It's still got, it's got some amazing flavor and no heat. So, all right. Me. <laughs> I'm going to inject this because it's so small because I thought it was one large piece of meat. And that was my good pan. I will wash your pan. No, it was my good pan. Hmm? It's yours now. What? <laughs> You've used it for a lot of things. <laughs> it was my cookie pan and my roll pan. It will make a good pocket for that injection. And all we're using is just some apple cider, or apple cider, some apple juice, some of that Frank's Red Hot, and a little bit of soy sauce. I think that's just about all we're going to get in there. Mm -hmm. I like the Frank's Red Hot because it's got a good vinegar base to it. I like that you like to cook. I like that I like to eat. <laughs> We're get the that makes it sound just... like I don't cook. Well, I didn't tonight. But... Well, you did. It's just the other video shows what happened. <laughs> we forgot because we got wrapped up in our chickens. Yeah. All right, we're gonna let that sit. We're gonna let these sit for about 15, 20 minutes. Just let that rub get in there good and deep, and just let it start to draw out some moisture. I gotta tell you, it smells really good. So everybody gets to experiment with us because I've never cooked anything like this before. Because I thought it was a pork butt. <laughs> it looked like it in the package. And it was not. We're going to be using our master built electric smoker this evening. We're going to be running at 275 and we're going to wait. I'm going to probably wrap them at 160 degrees because I have no idea what this meat is going to do. So, 273 degrees and that time you saw is not the time. That's the timer. It's going to shut off in nine hours. So what I did was I got some hickory wood. I didn't put it in there because I wanted you guys to be able to see me putting the meat in the smoker. And if it's full of smoke, you can't really see me do that. So <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go bone side down. 
This smoker's seen some better days. It's got a lot of use though. It's got some good seasoning in it. Good mm -hmm. flavor. All right. I'm gonna slide the wood tray in. We're using we're using some hickory wood today. I put a little. I had it soaking in water for just a little bit, so we'd get a good slow steam. And I know that's not smoking; it's steaming. But. <laughs> All right. We're gonna shut it up. We're gonna let it cook for about four hours before we even look at it. We're right at 140. Right. Let's try cutting this one. Bones are starting to protrude. This is not turning out well. I hope it tastes a lot better than it is easier to, or tastes easier than it is to cut, I guess. Alright. I'm going to cut this piece off here so we can at least try it. Since my lovely wife has stayed up late to help me film it. All right, so we got to 140 internal temperature. Looks pretty good. Now this is that twisted Q seasoning, so let's give it a taste test. That is really good. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna try that, baby. I'm too tired. Too tired? Come I on, really am. just a little bite, please. Mm -hmm. That is really good. I think I'll try a couple more bites. So I think tomorrow I'm going to go to Market Square and actually get a pork butt and put the recipe seasoning on it and cook it because it tastes really good on this really weird cut of meat. It's got a set of bones here, bone here, bone here. It's the bony meat. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. The taste is. The taste is amazing. The, the Twisted Q, I will definitely be using again. I just wish for the first time it would have been on a better cut of meat. <laughs>